Hey everyone, in today's Google Drive video, I wanna show you how to share a file or a folder in Google Drive with someone else. I'll show you multiple ways to do this. And if you're new to Google Drive, I do have a full tutorial and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video so you could master Google Drive. But right now, let's go ahead and share a file and then I'll show you how to share a folder. When a folder is shared, you'll see this little person icon on top of the folder. This is the folder icon that has been shared. And when a file like a PDF or a Google Doc or a Google Sheet is shared, you'll get this double person icon right here next to it. So how do we share it? Well, take a look up here, this blank area. Right now, nothing is here. But if I select a document like this document here, as soon as I select it, I get some new options on top here. And we care about these two. That's what I'm gonna share with you. So the first one, share this document, if I click it, it's gonna give me the option to type in people's name and email here and send it to them that way. So that's one way to do it, but we wanna make sure this dropdown is changed to exactly what we want to happen. Do we want to collaborate on one document? So do we want to have another person edit? Do we want just to have them comment? So maybe they're a client and commenting makes more sense, or maybe we don't want them to make any changes. So you could choose only could view and it changes this icon here depending on what you choose. Let me just do a test here. And again, you could add multiple different people here just by pressing enter after you type in the first email. And then you could add a note here and notify that person that someone is sharing a file with them and why you're sharing that with them. And then you could go ahead and press send. So let me go ahead and cancel and the same thing to a folder. So if I wanted to share this folder, for example, I could click on the folder and inside of folders, you could have many things. So you could have Excel and Google Doc and PDF and all kinds of documents, images, videos inside of a folder. But let me share this folder that hasn't been shared before. Again, as soon as I select the folder, these menus show up on top here. I could always go ahead and right click on it too and press the share icon, which is the same person icon up here. But now I wanna show you get shareable link. Again, it's on the right click and it's on top here. So I'll show it to you on top. Press that and I'm gonna turn shareable link on. When you click it by default, it slides over to on. And this is the link basically. So I could select this link and again, it's on can view. This is not editable yet unless I press the share settings. And now it takes me to this window where I could go ahead and make sure the link that I'm gonna copy here, basically just select this link and press copy. It's been copied, I could alter that. I could make that again, people could edit or people can view and I have uh, even more options here. So I could select from any of these for sharing this file. So I'm gonna go ahead and in this case copy it and I won't need to put it here and send people an email. I could just go ahead and email this and I'll show you a really nice clean way to do it since this link is so long, I'll show you how to make it really nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and let me go to Gmail. And on Gmail, I'll just go ahead and press compose an email here. Instead of pasting, if I go ahead and just right click and paste that long URL, it doesn't look very good, but let me show you this other option. You could type in whatever text you want, whatever the name of the folder or project is, you could type it out. You could highlight this text and then you could make this clickable by pressing the link icon here. And you could insert the web link. So if I just go ahead and paste now, that Google Drive link is here. Now I could press OK. And you could see that link is now available on this text. So I could actually go ahead and delete this text and this would just become my link. Now, when I send this to anyone, they just have to click this and it will take him to that Google Drive. Now this works the same way on Apple Mail. Just any mail application should have a insert link icon where you could just type out text, highlight the text and press that. So inside Apple Mail, for example, is inside edit, add a link. So it may be in a different option in whatever email provider you're using. But it's that simple to share a link from a file or a folder inside of Google Drive. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.